Five ten a.m. Robot o'clock. Chapter seventeen, the final chapter. Are we are we actually at the end of the game? Like, or am I going to be here for twelve hours in getting into chapter we won't be twenty-seven? Here for twelve hours, but we're we're getting there. The upended submarine continues to sink slowly but surely. A long, long journey to the bottom of the sea. Lynn and the little lady found the darkness and the salt water closing in on them, but at the very last second, something saved them. Now it looks down at them quietly. My head is filled with one giant question. What in the world is this thing? So, I, where? It's gold and silver. Oh, fuck. Hey. He yeah, has the shades. I lost my body. It got stolen from me. So I made this body. Don't talk to me. You're right. I should have just left you there. Hey. Who the fuck am I? Wait, if you're not Sissel, then who the fuck is you? The man in front of me is not me. He's also not really a man anymore. I'm even further away from the truth. Or maybe not. Something is stirring in my mind. A memory about to emerge. Do I know this pile of parts? Now that I've shed my image of myself, I feel like I'm one step closer to the truth. Well, let's just sit and have a little chat while the boat sits. Yeah, we're all stuck here, so... <laughs> Story time. They've got the rock. <laughs> and the villain will explain everything. squirrels and five-year-olds that is consistent with everything we have seen so far yeah I, I would go yeah. so far as to say that Shu Takumi saw JoJo's and said, I want to do that. Yeah. I mean, it's influenced everything else. Why not this? He got run over next Please. to the meteorite. Oh, yeah, I was right there. What was in the briefcase, motherfucker? Ha! Thank <laughs> you. 
There's an episode of Cowboy Bebop on this, but it's much more horrifying in that. Yeah. I liked that episode. I heard it was not really a fan favorite, but I thought it was cool. It was alright. Now that I've finally watched the fucking show, there's not really a bad episode. Except for when, you know, Vicious is on screen. Yeah. Yeah, they had been... That is what the first guy says. Yes. That was the stated goal. Presumably because they don't want anyone else to know about their, their new weapon that they have. No. Yep. So now all they need to do is put, like, you know, soldiers in a room with this rock and shoot them in the head and see what happens. Yup. And just have fun with it. Yeah. We'll assign you to your, your fucking positions once we figure out what you can do. Okay. I was, I was a child. Yeah. You're not going to fucking get out on this one. He's, he's like, yeah, I know. This is stupid. Hey, now that the rock is out of him, he's less fucking batshit. So he invited her out here to start things off. Mm -hmm. And he possessed her and made her shoot him so it would be all on camera and incriminating. Oh, uh, yeah, that's maybe a little clue. Like, that barbed wire isn't bothering him none. Yeah, he's leaning up against it. I can't remember if we actually saw him leaning like this before, but eh. Oh, yeah, that's also true. That's what's keeping him standing up. There we go. And the pose. Okay, so presumably there is a fucking piece of the rock in that briefcase. But who the fuck am I that had to have died here in roughly this same time? I did that. That was me. <laughs> Nearsighted Jago, our first victim. Jigo, sorry, whatever. Nearsighted fucking splat. Now my body had disappeared.
Is it going to be that just like, oh, and when you fucking shot the, the first bullet you shot hit like a rat and I am the rat's soul? Hmm. Well, she fired two bullets, right? So it's it's pretty it's pretty safe to assume that whatever I am, the first bullet killed me. OK. And like a junkyard rat or something. <laughs> that and that's funny. why. There have been so many rats in the game. That would, yeah, that would explain why all the rats. Maybe. Let's see. By the way, we're not getting out of here. Yeah, we're kind of fucked. <laughs> this is a really. Hook up the phone line to what? <laughs> this is a top 10. Like, how the fuck are they going to get out of this situation? I like that he's making the gears spin. He doesn't have to, but it's a nice touch. Well, I mean, metaphorically, maybe, but... I want to play the Rat God game. What's the Rat God game? Oh, is that Narita we were talking about last time? Oh, no, that's like a wizard. Never mind. If my dad was here, he'd save us. Yeah, he just Kool-Aid man through the side of the door and swim us all to the surface. Mad Rat Dead. Might have mentioned it. It's not sticking to my head, but I like that. Small Saga was really good, and I like playing rats. Moss was very cute. Anyway. Yeah, there's something I don't understand. Who the fuck am I? Oh, and also that. Why did they remove that whole room? I just assumed it was an escape pod for Big Guy. Does Big Guy have a name? Nope. Big Guy. <laughs> Okay. Sure. The bullet is still in Sissel's body. Uh, yes. Um. I can't talk to... Okay, fine. I like that with the little ghost sperm now, but with the glasses, like in the logo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? What? You gotta realize we're turn left ninety degrees. Yeah. I guess they had a machine just to feed him grapes while he was in bed. Yes, that's exactly what this is. Give me them grapes. Uh oh. You fucked up, grapes.
Ah, missile. Oh, I can't go into missile right now. He's still guarding Camilla. I don't remember this being a puzzle, so it's probably just like a thing we haven't noticed. Try this again. Operate again. Oh, it's a time thing. Gimme! We still got one torpedo. It'd be a shame not to use it. How did they get here? They climbed up. <laughs> Just skip all that. Don't ask questions. Yeah, no, don't. No, this game's long enough as it is. <laughs> we we made you traverse that one room in that escort <laughs> quest Same. mission. Thing. Same way we did. They just squeezed themselves through the phone line. Go big or die underwater. Love it. Maybe the other switch is less broken. There we go. Get in the tube. Get in the tube. I'm starting to realize why torpedoes have two cores on them. So being trapped at the bottom of the ocean in a in a fucking perpetual nightmare state of of nothingness that sounds worse than dying that is considerably worse than dying that is that is in fact the thing that keeps me awake at night like my my anxiety and mortal dread is entirely focused on what if i die and then i just keep existing All aboard the torpedo. Damn it. They've got big robot monster. They're fine. No, no, don't. It's, it's, it's fine. You don't get to apologize. There have been a lot of really good horror stories written on the subject. Uh, the Jaunt by Stephen King. That's a really good one. Short story. I want to say it's in Graveyard Shift. I can't remember which book it's in.
Missile getting the tube. Let's go. Getting the missile. We going. It's longer than you think, Dad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you've read it. <sighs> yes, yes, everybody, we're all so glad in the power of friendship. Can we get going before the water and the death, please? That's true, yeah, if we zoom in on the missile, there's a lot more little components we could zap into. And also maybe a rat. We'll send help. The rat will probably not get help. These 12 seconds are lasting an eternity. Sickens, that's how that word's pronounced now. I tried to think of a way to save Lynn and the little lady the whole time. But how can a ray of light of hope reach this far down into the deep sea? Before I can think of an answer, the 12 seconds are up. Doink. A little FMV just to like, no, you get to the room. Don't worry. <laughs> We're not going to dick you around on this one. By the way, Jad's dead. Again? <laughs> Sneaky. Well, I guess this bought us a little more time. Thanks for dying. It's extremely hopeless. That's why we're here. Somehow we're supposed to turn everything around here. Who know the answer? How did you get here? He just kind of followed us. You sneaky fuck. Yo, Mio. Lay moy. Nope, it's not backwards for anything. <laughs> There's a lot more segments on the torpedo. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I really want him to be just like a fucking junkyard rat now. That would be that would be real fun. <laughs> top systems engineer. I'm a top Pomeranian. <laughs> uh moving on. It's like Spartacus in reverse. So, I can see how uh, Shu Takumi would later go on because a lot of this is like really backloaded. Um,. And you can, you can see how in his later games he got better at, like, seeding all of these elements throughout the case. Like, a lot of the most important information we have just learned today at the very end.
So there's the whole story. The government thought he was stealing information. Yes. Because he was working on fucking arsenal gear. Mm hmm. Ten years ago, I got hit by a rock. Ow. Oh, I love eternal darkness. My life was an existential nightmare. Yeah, no, this sucks. I mean, honestly, the best case scenario is if you're, like, close enough, you can possess something near a library and or a movie theater. It's like, well, I guess I can just catch up on all of the fiction and things that I never got around to when I had a body. You shall suffer as I have suffered. And there was time now. So the thing I love about Sizer Kose, the thing I love about Time Enough at Last is everyone in that episode is just a humongous douchebag for no reason other than Burgess Meredith must suffer. His boss, his co-workers, his wife, everybody. Like his wife literally like takes a pen and like scratches out all of the words in his books or cuts them up with knives so he can't read them. Just, just to be cruel for no good reason. new life national government of seemingly totalitarian fascists. Yeah. Maybe not the best people to ask. Yeah. Because of the, the fucking hippie that was protecting the area. Well, because of his petitions. Okay, yeah. <laughs> First, the government thought they were crazy. they committed resources to it regardless well i mean okay so in the 1950s a woman in russia did a party trick where she blew a piece of paper across a table without people noticing that she was blowing on it and then mk ultra happened as a direct result so the government will spend money on weird shit No, that's no, just he's a regular just a fucking guy. weirdo. Give LSD to dolphins. Fuck it. Why not? Fuck it is doing a little bit of work in that subject in that sentence. There, there was a there was a scientist, a woman who was part of the LSD dolphin, who 
fell in love with one of the dolphins. Huh? It yeah, it was a thing. Fucking yeah. This guy, however, this guy was just weird, and wants you to sign his petition. Oh, the dolphin fell in love with her. My, I. Well, however, the story went. There, there were inappropriate human on dolphin contact. Yeah, I mean, you did that. Hey, you did it. Everyone's suffering. You did it. Good job. Yay, Yay. thanks. Thanks. Anyway, made, let's let's get started here. You made everybody's life worse. I forgot we had a rewind pending. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Let's go back in time again. You can't stop me. I'm drunk with power. Hey, we don't have any fuel left. By the way. This is a fairly cla classic angry ghost comes back to haunt and curse people, but with a very different tone. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> He's a remote controlled robot. He's also very good at Harlem Globetrotter uh, ball tricks. We get that a lot. He, he had a very consistent spin there. That was very good. Possibility. Damn it. Yeah, the Ki the the Kaiser fella, his name was Commander Sith. I don't I don't know. I'm going to chalk it up to coincidence. And then Jao got shot. Again. Any possibility. What if we fire the gun while he's spinning his head and the bullets hit the head? He's got a core. It's time. That means you can get shot. Oh, fuck. Four minutes before. Oh, this is going to change a lot of things. Oh, jeepers. All right. This is it. It's a fuck. All right. Let's fucking go.
<laughs> oh, fuck. I, I, I admit I did not expect this. Any possibility. I fell back through the cracks of time for what seemed like forever, and then I saw it. The final death at the end of this long night. Who exactly am I? I've already seen all of the clues. All I have to do now is remember. The final journey to the truth starts now. God damn! God damn, god damn! One more time.